Hey there friends, I mentioned earlier that I have obtained a Glowforge using a grant, thank you WOEF for that, and I just want to show you the workflow of how you can make something. So I am playing in Tinkercad, and I am exporting these three pieces as an SVG. Uh, real quickly, I'll show you how I built it. Uh, this outline is simply the tube, and when I brought it out, I set it to the thinnest. I could make the wall thickness. And then I stretched it so it looked more like a keychain shape. Not really serious about any of it, just having fun as I make it. And I wanted it to be really round, so I gave it a lot of sides. I'll delete that one since you've seen it. Then I went to the all shapes, and I found the one called script. You have to go down and search. It happens to be on the second one. When you choose script, you just type your words. So let's say I wanted to put hello. It shows up as script. I scrunched it just for giggles because when you export it as an SVG, it doesn't matter anyway. You do have other choices for fonts, so you can play with those as much as you want. When you've got your parts built for your cool keychain that you're designing, I'm taking these two and I'm exporting them as one, and I'm exporting them as an SVG simply dropped it in my special folder where I keep things and then I did the same thing for the ring and for the hole. At that point you return to your Glowforge and you add your artwork. I chose upload and as you can see here I uploaded all of my parts. I'll bring in the ring again. It takes a second for it to show up and then when it does notice I'm zoomed into 300% I have to back out and find where that part just appeared. Now I don't want that part because I've already got it, so I'm going to press delete. This is a camera image of my bed. I've got two pieces of wood that are holding this piece of cardboard in place. I am just using scrap material. I'm not using anything expensive yet, but let me show you how we arrange it for our next print. This was my first test. This is my second test. I'm going to just move up into this area. I'm going to put the hole inside and then I'm going to put the ring around the outside and my goal is for this ring to cut all the way out. Whenever you do a custom shape like this it makes you do custom settings. I've currently set it for 500 speed and 30 power but you can see it did not cut all the way through like I was hoping. So this time I'm going to change it to 400 speed and I'm going to change it to 35 power. And then I'm going to click to the hole. And I want to do the same thing with it. And I don't know what the right numbers are. You always want to be by your printer when you're testing these. Uh, my first test, I did have the power a little hot. And the item I was doing was shaded in. And it did start a... Uh, nice little bit of smoke flying out of there so you always want to be alert and be with your printer as it works and then the one pride I had it going at 512 I'm gonna have it do 500 and I'm gonna have it do uh, 16 for the power this time with your settings set simply hit print it scans your material and then you have to move to your printer now I've got my printer all the way on the other side of the house but you simply tap the button and then the laser immediately fires up. Does not look like I'm going to be cutting all the way through yet. But that does look closer. Just give you a quick view over here. This is how I'm venting it outside right now. Looks like the one pride is cutting out a little more clear this time. Celebrating the Lions getting a win versus Arizona, and I thought this might be a cool little keychain to make. And just like that, we've got a cutout keychain. Not getting all the way through that cardboard yet, but. A lot of fun as I experiment with just cardboard boxes that I found. 
you can see I've already got it lined up for the next test and this time I'm trying to do three passes to cut it out but hey I just wanted to show you one way to get the projects completed friends if you found this useful please hit that like button if you haven't hit subscribe what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and if you have a question or a comment please leave it down below also feel free to hit that notification bell so you're first to know when there's a brand new movie from me HL Mod Tech thanks for watching have a great day